Yes, everyone. Welcome back to Food Review Club. You join us today at Pudsey. Is that Pudsey? I think we're in Pudsey, yeah. Pudsey, just outside Bradford for what I think could be an amazing fish and chip review. We've come to this place. Greenside Fish and Chips. And the key here is on that sign. Traditional fish and chips cooked the old fashioned way. At any point during this video, if you like the content and think, yeah, I like these two. The hardest working duo in the food show business. Please subscribe, like the video if you haven't already, because this is gonna be an old school fish and chips cooked in beef dripping. The pictures online look really dark. That dark and gnarly batter. Let's go inside and see what it's all about. All right, so order has been done. And price point on that, 8.35 for the super large fish. Chips 260. Curry sauce, one Scraps and salt and vinegar, Yes, please. Scraps and salt and vinegar. Well, they were been there, bro. Get it on there. What's a bread cake? Am I being dumb? What's a, a bread cake? What's a bread cake? I know a fish cake. What's a bread cake? What's a bread cake, mate? Bread cake. Bread roll. <laughs> bread roll. <laughs> I see a, we're expecting to see a, uh, a some sort of special dessert, the bread cake. Yeah. Can I open it? I'll have one of these. I'll, I'll sort of open it. What do I call it? A bread roll. <laughs> so this is, ladies and gents, <laughs> this is a buttered bread cake. Look, as rolls go, that does. Uh, That's not good at all. Is that a local bakery? What's that, mate? Is it a local ba bakery? Yeah, I'm off to bed today. Not good for them. That looks fing good. To be fair, I'll have that now, won't I? How much is the bread cake? 95p. Huh? 95p? 95p. Deep fried baby bell. Ooh. This is, these are all the extras you want from a fish uh, chip shop, you know, like. Deep fried baby bell. Yeah, oh. just, just deep fry everything. You know what I mean? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Look at that. I feel, like, I feel like a, you know, a kid look, cocks, man. looking at the uh, Toys R Us, you know, oh, adverts yeah. through the window, looking at his, looking at his new bike. Oh. There's such a distinctive look and feel to this type of fish and chips you don't get anywhere else. Like this beef dripping, crispy, rich, crunchy batter. Salt, salt, and vinegar, and everything, please. Oh wow, look at that. Hand brewed vinegar as well, is that Say again. Hand brewed, it's a lot stronger than your normal vinegar. Hand brewed vinegar. <laughs> my, my friend Dunk, he's adamant that no one puts enough vinegar on. You've got to have plenty of vinegar. As strong as this, man. Yeah. It's a lot, it's a lot stronger than your normal vinegar. Just open like that, Just that's lovely, yeah. You wait till you see this. If you haven't subscribed or liked this video, why are you playing that? This is elite food. Thank you so much. How much do I owe you? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. bread cake might take us over the... Uh, what? 14 chip shop cookie, man. Um, what would you recommend? Chip shops. Uh, chip shop, yeah, go on then. Do you want it in the pot? Just a little one, yeah. Yeah. Only gonna have a little dunk. Yeah, 13.20 please. Yeah, just just got enough. <laughs> Thanks, my friend. What was your name? James. Nice to meet you, James. What's your name, mate? Matt. Matt. Matt and Callum. Oh, yeah. The hardest working duo in the food show business. <laughs> <laughs> now that, that is what you call fish and chips. I've got scraps on top there, dark colour. Let's get outside and try it. See you, James. Thanks for that. Cheers, Cheers mate. Thank you. Just like that is a bin here. Perfect for our side table. Now, people, look at that in the daylight. It's just... That looks... Crazy. It's <laughs> that is some of the craziest batter I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. It's just cool, right? It's gnarly. So we've got scraps in this today. This is big, bro. 
So like, let's just um, let everyone into a secret. So when we look for fish and chip shops now, we actually zoom in on the pictures in Google to see what type of batter it is. We found this and both got very excited. Yes. It took me a while to find one around Bad Bradford area. But this, this one stood out. Oh. Watch this. Go on. <laughs> Ladies and gents, I present to you proper, traditional beef. <laughs> What was that? Part two. I present to you proper, traditional, I'm holding on here, beef dripping fish and chips. And I've even got seagulls. Oh. Can you hear that? Yeah. Hopefully they stay over there. We're not sharing. You can see the happiness in your face. I just can't tell you how good this is. It, uh... He had not a f***ing clue we were turning up today either. Right, he, Yeah, he didn't want to be on camera, by the way. That's why we yeah. didn't film him. I said, do you mind being on camera? He said, no, please don't. It's just a shame, because he spoke so nicely about his industry, his shop, and you could tell he loved what he did. Right, Callum, here we go. First up, chip. Watch. chip. Looks like a good chip. First thing I'll notice is that beef dripping uh, really brings the colour to the chips. Crunchy on the outside, fluffy on the inside. We've even got a few scraps knocking around with that hand brewed vinegar. It's like turbo power vinegar. <laughs> Supercharged flavour. These, these chips are a bit starchy as well. A bit like, a bit firm. Like you open an arm wrestle one, you know what I mean? <laughs> Fantastic. Well, let's get into some of this fish. There we have it. There we have it, look. There's the haddock in there. Okay, now this may not feel the healthiest we've ever had. It feels very rich. Some of the other ones I like are cleaner and a bit da 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 da. But today, this one is ticking all of my boxes. It just is very different and a, a welcome change to the fish and chip scene. It really does taste like a throwback portion of fish and chips. Oh, you outside looks it as well. Proper old school looking. Oh, look at it, old school. What, is this Victoria? What would you even call Amazing, this? Amazing, bruv. I've got an idea. Come in. You're gonna make a chip, a chip yeah. cake. <laughs> chip, fish and chip cake. Curry sauce. Classic. There we go. Chip shop curry sauce. Brilliant. Drink watch. We oh. had to go for the dandelion and burdock. That medicinal classic. It's the second drink watch in a, in a row, kind of. There you go. Ben Shaw's. Ban, dandelion and... Dandelion and burdock. Dandelion and burdock. A syrupy like Coke, but with a kind of a little tang at the end. It's fantastic. Now, Callum, we, we had to buy this, okay? To see what it for was. your inquiry, but I think we should make a sort of a... Good butter, good butter. Yeah. What are you putting in? Chips? A or fish chip? as well. Fish. Fish, oh. fish. Look, let's get some fish in there, bro. This magical... Look at that, mate. Like... <laughs> people becoming from 
for miles around asking for the fish and chip cake. The fish and chip cake. That oil loaf. Are you going to fit much more in it? Oh! Ladies and gents, I present to you the Food Review Club fish and chip cake. <laughs> Could you believe we asked, what is a bread cake? And they brought it over and it's just a bread roll. We was like, what do you call it? Here we go. To be fair, there is a lot of names. That's like death row meals, bro. Oh. That is like, oh. All right, it's your favorite food in a sandwich. You can put anything inside. A, a bread cake. A good bread roll. <laughs> and it will taste amazing. All right, get in the comments, people. What do you call it? A butty, a roll, a cake? A bat, a tea cake? No, what do you call it? A balm? Oh, Jesus. There's so many different names for that. It's a butty or a roll for me. What is that called? Bread roll. All right, people, that was amazing. Traditional beef dripping, fish and chips cooked to the highest order. This isn't just any old random place. We've, we've selected this out of the pictures, but wow. We know what's what. Just because no other food reviewer has ever been here does not mean that this sort of place shouldn't have the coverage that we can offer. If blow this video up, let's show the world what sort of fish and chips we expect. Traditions like this should never die. They say you die twice. The first time when you actually die. The second time is when they stop saying your name. But fish and chips cooked like this in the traditional way will never die. Not if we have something to do with it. What an amazing product we've got here in Pudsley. You say Pudsley? Don't I? <laughs> it's basically my surname. It's Pudsey. <laughs> it's what I said. <laughs> Time for a score, Callum. It's got to be a high, high score, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. By subscribing to our YouTube channel, you're going to help us grow. That's going to help these guys out. Inside the shop, he said, Time's right at the moment. Uh, electricity prices, price of fish, kit chips. Everything's going up. And he can't put his price up because no one will buy it. And we know what happens then. Let's blow these places up. Give them the boost we need. I'm going to do my bit now and give that a score today out of 10. No bias. It's a genuine score. I'm going to give that a 9.5. <whistles> Absolutely. Breathtaking. Yorkshire. I think you do know how to do it best. Oh. Thanks for watching, everyone. Like and follow for more. Subscribe if you haven't already. God bless you, everyone. That's Callum. This is Matt. And that was a masterpiece. Woo. See us, Big Daddy B, Pugs and Matt on a mission. To find who's got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen. Different places, different flavors, try different things. Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Where's the boss of the burger?